Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and if we haven't seen each other uh, so far this year, a happy new year to you. Watching this big system back toward the U.S. and these fronts just kind of hanging out very close to the Caribbean. Stronger fronts are moving in over the next week, week and a half. Uh, very typical of an El Nino pattern, a very aggressive system. Now, we've had some spotty showers around, and I'll dive into that uh, further. Not a whole lot of action uh, at this point, but we're going to see a little bit more popping up. So I'll zoom down into the Caribbean right up into the Atlantic region of Canada and I want to show you the winds in a moment but look at this system again as we work our way back toward the Great Lakes stretching back there's the tail end of it right there that's the front that is going to move into the Northern Caribbean crossing Florida Bahamas near Cuba there's some of the weather back toward uh, the east coast of the U.S. up toward uh, New England and another system moving into the Pacific Northwest and west coast of the U.S. then as we work our way into the second half of the weekend the front much like the one we have now just kind of stalls out to the south, but what's going to happen is we get these impulses from the west coast to the U.S. moving in, and we see more systems taking place, but look how these are different. This is a little more to the south. Again, I showed you the system that's forming today. We're seeing a lot of snow up toward the Great Lakes, right? So this is kind of digging a little bit more to the south, which means colder weather moving in. Stronger fronts just to the north. So we're going to see these moving a little bit closer as we get into next week. So I expect a bigger cool down for some of us across the Caribbean as we work our way into the middle of next week and sharply colder across parts of the U.S., Mexico, and of course Canada now throughout next week. The coldest weather of the season is now moving in for some of us. And you can see it here. Here's the dividing line. The northwesterly breeze, these arrows show the front here, winds out of the northwest, big time front. I showed you the seas in yesterday's video, choppy seas, Gulf, uh, as we get toward the western Atlantic. And the winds stay out of the north through the northern Bahamas, uh, close to Cuba, right on the edge of the front. The front sitting right through here, if you could kind of make it out. Northerly flow meeting the southerly flow near the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. So here's the front. But as I mentioned, watching what's next, stronger fronts are coming. We're going to be watching this system taking place uh, Sunday into Monday uh, up toward the the U.S. And these ones will dig a little bit more to the south. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And that could also bring us a better chance of showers for some of us next week. We'll put that on the back burner for right now. So there's the tail end of the front right there. Here's Belize and you see it just to the north. And we've been watching the spotty showers. Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. We've had a few. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, Barbados. See some of the showers here. Possible. Cayman Islands, Jamaica. Rain chance not super high. The front kind of washes out. This is as we work our way into our Saturday afternoon. Afternoon. Venezuela mainly drying Guyana. We've seen a little bit of a break in the rain. Suriname seeing some of those scattered showers as we work our way into our Sunday. Spotty showers possible. That's going to be the outlook. See the hit or miss showers, Barbados, uh, right through Dominica as we work our way into our Sunday forecast. Now the big system that's developing in the U.S. headed toward the Atlantic region of Canada. Not really for today, but to get toward Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. There's Cape Breton. We'll be right on the edge of the snow rain mix. This is the snow the white, you get kind of the mix, some sleet mixed in there. And here's the rain and heavier rain you see over by Halifax as we work our way into the second half of our Saturday. And then the system moving across Newfoundland over towards St. John's, getting out of the picture as we work our way into our Sunday afternoon. So keeping a close eye on the temperatures, the highs as we work our way into our Saturday around Belize and the Yucatan of Mexico, 29 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit cooler in the Bahamas, 25 to 26 Celsius upper 70s. And again, still on the warm side for many of us, but these fronts next week, this cold air up here, those secondary fronts will dig a little bit more to the south. That'll be something interesting to watch. So for today, Jamaica passing shower through the weekend, 20 to 30% chance. Same thing across the Cayman Islands. That front is nearby now, but it kind of washes out, kind of falls apart. Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to see the rain chance a little higher for us on Sunday. So Port of Spain may catch a few showers on Sunday. Be mindful of that even as you head off to church on Sunday morning. May hit a couple showers. 40% chance this weekend in Grenada. 40 to 50% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. As we dive into the weekend, Barbados tomorrow, 40% chance, 30% chance on Sunday. In a 40% chance right through St. Lucia as we work our way into the upcoming weekend. Martinique, rain chance 50% today, 40% chance for tomorrow, 40% chance on our Saturday, 30% chance Sunday, and Dominique, I was showing you those showers 
easterly breeze bringing in some. We'll see that again through Guadalupe. Rain chance 40% today, 30% tomorrow. Uh, Antigua and Barbuda and about a 30 to 40% chance this weekend. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Anguilla, St. Bart's, same thing. Rain chance 40% on our Saturday, 40% on our Saturday. Saba, Stacia, uh, St. Martin. We'll see a couple passing showers. Puerto Rico, 20 to 30% chance. 30% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We had some rain yesterday morning. Some of you were sending in those beautiful pictures of those uh, rainbows, especially over toward uh, St. Croix. Uh, Dominican Republic, 30% chance for tomorrow. Mainly dry in Haiti. May catch a couple sprinkles if you get a few darker clouds at times. Bahamas watching some of the showers with the front uh, fronts moving by. Rain chance stays pretty limited. Turks and Caicos, about a 20% chance in Cuba. And again, some cooler weather getting closer. Belize rain chance stays limited. The front just to the north. Get toward the Yucatan and Mexico tomorrow. The rain chance 20%. 10% chance tomorrow uh, in Aruba. 20% chance Sunday. 20% chance of a uh, passing shower. Curacao and uh, Bonaire. Rain chance will be going up. These fronts moving through the U.S., parts of Canada, moving off toward Bermuda. Rain chance higher this weekend in the high seas. Costa Rica, rain chance about 50%. 30 to 40% chance in Guyana. That's down some. And we could get some of those passing showers watching that in Suriname, especially interior sections of Suriname. Venezuela, rain chance about 20%. So bigger fronts sweeping across uh, the U.S., a major one to the north. Choppy seas, gusty winds, especially in the Gulf of Mexico and over toward uh, the Bahamas. Passing showers possible this weekend in those extra fronts, the ones back behind the bigger ones. Those are the ones that will nudge a little bit closer next week. I'll keep you posted on that. And of course, monitoring the earthquakes. I hope you have a great weekend ahead.